Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna be taking some cuttings of my Nepenthes and I'm gonna be showing you what to do should you want to take cuttings in the future. Now the reason why I'm gonna take some cuttings of this plant is because, as you can see, it's really not looking that healthy. Now, this Nepenthes has been hanging up in the polytunnel and it was doing really, really well up until now. And I have had this plant whew, when I was 23. Um, so it's well over whew, 24 years ago, <laughs> 20, 23 years ago anyway. Um, so it's an old plant. Now it's done this before. Um, a few years ago, it went totally brown. I thought the plant had actually died. I think what's happened is they have to be kept sort of in high humidity and regularly watered water with rainwater and because it's been in the polytunnel with the, all the cacti succulents overwintering I have been going in occasionally making sure that the soil is is moist with rainwater but it's just not I think possibly it's a little bit too dry in there because we've had to have the heater on um, we've had the weather extremely cold for this time of year over the past few weeks and I think the heater being on has been great for the cacti and succulents from an air humidity air humidity nice and dry but a little bit too dry for this Nepenthes now I managed to make it completely recover before so I'm going to be doing the same thing again and I thought it's a great opportunity to show you um, how to take cuttings now now, I've already made a video on how to prune the penties and in that video I show you this exact plant actually pruning it back, pruning all the old um, dead leaves um, back and um, pruning it up and links up above to that video if you haven't seen it or if you want to know how to prune the penties. It is very easy and some people just leave them to look like this but I think it looks untidy so I'm going to be cutting back all of this all of this old brown foliage and because it's going to take a long time I won't make a video on that and as I say I've already made a video doing that before so do check that video up guys links up above and also down below in the about, in the about section <laughs> and as I say this is purely just showing you how to take cuttings of Nepenthes. Now when you take cuttings of Nepenthes you want to make sure you pick obviously the, the healthiest part of the, the plant and as I say this plant isn't looking that particularly healthy so if I had a healthier part to show you I would be doing that. In this case I'm going to take the top part of the growth here and what I'm going to be doing is cutting it back here and then removing these leaves here and then also cutting off the parts where the pictures are because I want the energy to go to the roots instead of actually forming pictures. So what I'm going to be doing here is just show you here obviously and with the panties you can cut any part of the stem I mean you can cut that part I could even cut a middle piece here and put that into into water and it will root and send out shoots they are very easy very easy to root um, but in this case here I'm going to take this back to here as you can see that looks the healthiest part healthiest part to there so I'm just going to go cut like so and then I'm going to check yep as you can see that's fresh always check that the growth is fresh inside as I say Nepenthes do grow with this brown stalk coloration on their stems it's not that it's rotting and I did cut some of these earlier and check it's all fresh inside so it should all re when it's all trimmed back it should all regrow fresh fresh new new stems so you check that's fresh there and then what you want to do is here is then literally you just want to remove cut that back there cut that back there Cut them off and then you want to remove the pictures now you can leave the pictures on and just put that straight into the water but we want the energy to go to the roots and not forming pictures so in this case what I'm going to be doing is just cutting the, the ends off here with the with the picture the, where the pictures are on here like that this won't hurt the plant in any form and um, you just want to literally here just turn it around so you can see what I'm doing I really should have got the stand shouldn't I here <laughs> and there uh, like that and then the, also the little picture at the end as well probably a good idea and just cut that like so and then that just literally goes into water in there and then I'm going to put that into a into a sunny window in this case I'm going to put this into the plant room upstairs and um, 
obviously it can take a number of weeks. It can actually take a very long time before they form roots. So you do have to be patient. So this could take a long, long time. I'm gonna do this with all of these, all of the healthy green tops. Now I'm gonna show you again how to do it. And as I say, you don't necessarily have to cut the pictures. I just take that one's actually died back anyway. I'm just gonna take that off anyway on there because just in case you're struggling to keep to keep going it just means the energy then it's going to go to the root system instead of forming forming these little pictures here and uh, that's going to stay there i'm going to do another one just to show you and i've done this before and it's always worked so many different ways of taking cuttings as i say i wouldn't want to be taking a cutting of that because it's not healthy looking you want to pick a healthy a healthy part and uh, oh this is difficult to get to here just to show you as I say again, you want to make sure that you cut, so just remove all this away. The healthy part up here, so in this case I'm probably going to do up to there. Right. And then removing that. And as you see, it's healthy inside the middle there, it's all fresh growth. So then you want to remove all of any of these old, old growth here. And um, in this case I'll probably just pull these cut them rather than so they're not harm harmful at all to the plant these some people just leave these on but it is unsightly you want to tidy it up as much as possible and as I say cut off any any of the pictures so the energy is going to go purely to the roots on here there also and uh, turn that around here there and you also want to remove so it's going to otherwise if you put these in say with all the the leaves hanging down into the water it can encourage it to to rot which you really don't want to do again cut that back and again to the back of the pictures there now i may yep that's okay i may actually leave these little pictures on just out of because i've removed the lower ones so it should be okay as i say you don't have to remove the pictures at all it's just that it can sometimes help to um, encourage the energy to go to the roots instead but in this case i think i'm going to leave these on because i've removed the lower ones and um that should be okay there so you need to make sure if you're cutting you always get fresh fresh growth there and it's not uh, black or anything because this case it's fresh and there you go that's also going to go in here so i've got one where i've sort of kept the pictures on and one where i've took the pictures off and this is going to be a bit of an experiment because the one i've got with the pictures off and the one i've decided to keep the pictures on they're just forming and you'd be interested to see which one roots first <laughs> so um as i say it's purely optional but the last time i did some cuttings and my friend said to me do you know if you remove the pictures they're going to root far faster than leaving them on so this is why I did that but as I say experiment with two different ones one I'm going to leave the pictures on as in this case um, just starting to form and the other ones I've removed and then I'm going to do that with the rest of these but these are what I've got so far and um, that's really all you have to do then guys and I'll do an update in the future when they form roots should they form roots no reason why not as you can see there in rainwater and as I say, it can take many months when I've done this before it literally can take up to six months before they form roots but as long as you've got the fresh part there in the stem where this where it's fresh it will still take up water and continue to grow so guys I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from Ireland until the next video guys